Latte Love, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Gaja Brera. Now this machine comes in both silver and black, and we get really excited about this super automatic because it's an excellent machine at a really great price. Yeah, it's, you know, I love it because it's a small size, about 12 inches high. Um, again, a great value and just super easy to use. And in a minute, we're going to show you how to make a cappuccino on the machine so you can see just how easy it is. So Morgan, before we do that cappuccino, let's tell people why this machine is such a great value. Sure. Well, first of all, it has a ceramic burr grinder with five grind settings, and ceramic burr grinders are considered among the best, and they really keep a lot of flavor in your cup. It also has rapid steam, so you're going to come up and be able to steam milk very, very quickly. Not a lot of waiting at all between brewing and steaming. The brewer uses Gaja's OptiDose system, which allows you to choose between light, medium, or strong dosing options from 7 to 10 and a half grams. And what's nice on the brewer is if you want two shots of espresso or two long coffees, rather than just forcing more water through a higher dose, it's actually going to grind a second time to do that second shot or coffee. And drink volumes are fully programmable on this machine. When you turn the Brera on from cold, it's ready to brew in less than one minute. And the water reservoir and the dredge drawer are accessible directly from the front of the machine. Yeah, it makes it real easy to use. And in that water reservoir, you can hold 41 ounces there. The dreg drawer will hold the spent coffee from eight brewing cycles. So Mark, why don't we go ahead and make that cappuccino? Right, the, now the Brera uses the rapid steam technology so we can get steam very quickly. But first what we're going to do is um, purge any residual water. There's always some condensation in the steam system. So we're just going to run that into a separate pitcher. And now I have my milk here. Uh, we're going to put that under. We're using a Panarello wand on the Brera, well, which automatically injects the air. Um, there's a little hole up here that sucks the air through and automatically frosts our milk for us. So very easy to use. Now once we get the froth we want, if we still need to heat our milk some more, we can um, raise the glass off, cover that hole so it stops the air intake. Now typically we heat our milk to just under 160 degrees. Um, I don't have the thermometer, so I'm just gonna do it till the glass becomes kind of uncomfortable to hold. And typically I would do this in the pitcher and not the glass. Okay, I've got the froth I want, so I've buried that hole. I'm just gonna let it heat a little bit more. And okay, it's starting to get nice and warm. So there we go. We'll take that off. We'll wipe out our wand and place that under the spouts. And Morgan, you can do the honors of putting okay. our espresso in the glass. So just going to press the single shot button. And first it's grinding the beans and then it's going to go through a pre-infusion cycle which just wets the grounds before the actual pressure extraction takes place. So there was the pre-infusion. Yep. So it stopped for a second. Mm -hmm. And now it's actually going to do the pressure brewing. Right. And we can see. Here comes the espresso. Um, nice thing on here, we can fit a larger cup under here. We do have height adjustable spouts between three and a half and about four and a half inches. So you can fit different sized cups in there. And we really look at that. We've just got some beautiful layering going on and really easily made a wonderful cappuccino. The Brera does have a removable brew group, so for maintenance you can just pull that out and bring it to your sink and rinse it under cold water. For other maintenance items, the machine will alert you when it's necessary to descale to remove the buildup in the boiler. Now the machine doesn't come with a water filter, but can take a Mavia Intenza water filter, which is going to improve the flavor of your coffee and uh, keep the machine in better working order by helping to prevent some scale buildup. Now at Whole Latte Love, we do provide direct uh, repair service and advice on Gaja machines here, so if you have any issues, you can always give us a call. Again, this is the Gaja Brera Super Automatic, an excellent machine at a great value. And it's available now at WholeLatteLove.com. I'm Morgan. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. Whole Latte Love is your resource for everything coffee. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily updates on new coffee gear, plus hundreds of videos including how-tos, equipment reviews, recipes, expert technical advice, and more. Love, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Gaja Brera. Now this machine comes in both silver and black, and we get really excited about this super automatic because it's an excellent machine at a really great price. Yeah, it's, you know, I love it because it's a small size, about 12 inches high. Um, again, a great value and just super easy to use. And in a minute we're going to show you how to make a cappuccino on the machine so you can see just how easy it is. So Morgan, before we do that cappuccino, let's tell people why this machine